Hey guys, it's Jonah here once again. Ooh, there I am. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of, uh, well, in the brewing world, we should say, there's been a lot of interest in uh, in this stuff here, the old Hobgoblers, uh, one of my favourite beers. Um, but if you're a home brewer and you're trying to recycle the, um, the top, if you can see here, it's quite thick. And most people use these. This is an Emily cap here. Um, you put it on the top, and can you see? It just doesn't. It doesn't grip. It doesn't grip. So, um, what do you? What? What should we do? Here's a. Hey, I'll get rid of this. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> hey, can you see that beast? Um, there you go. I'll. Uh, there we go. Same. Uh, same bottle. Here, you got your cap here. Oh. Not fixed properly. So what the hell should we do? Right, as I say, this doesn't work. What you're going to need is one of these. Yeah, about five pounds in the UK, maybe ten dollars US, something like that. And you're going to need one of these. <laughs> oh, get it, get it. No, I'm only kidding. So what the idea is? This is really, really basic technology. What you do is you put this on top and then give it give it the beans. It's gonna adjust the camera a little bit. It does work and I'm hoping it's gonna work this time. So you line everything up and then this is gonna be a bit loud, sorry guys, but bang that down and hey look. Whoa, the bottle's stuck. So what you do, you give it you give it a twist. Easy comes off. Can you see that cap? It's okay, isn't it? How do we know that's gonna hold pressure? Easiest way, shake your brew and then look around the cap for bubbles. Right here. You can see it's not quite level like a like a factory bought one, but hey, saved me buying. The other way of doing it is to buy a proper bottler. Uh, what are they called? A bench a bench bottler. Here we go. The sisters. The sisters brew. Um, those cost sort of maybe 30, 40 quid. This beast, fiver. Yeah. You know it makes sense. Anyway, peace out, yeah? I'll see you guys later.